I'm not sure if he didn't rally that, although it isn't in the proper place for just not being rallied. Um, obviously when you reroute you have to re-set um, your rally point. That's something that I always forget. <laughs> I know it's a really basic thing, but whenever I reroute an Ancient of War I have to uh, consciously think, have I reset my um, rally points. Um, fourth Moon Runner going down from Remind, and his tech is halfway down. I imagine Grubby's is maybe two-fifths. Yeah, a bit behind. Um, Shop now going up for Grubby, just in the same place. Obviously, he he cancelled it early so that Remind couldn't do damage and then cancel it, just because um, you get a bit f less resources back from it, and Grubby wanted all the resources he could have for um, his tech, and he knew he'd have to cancel it anyways. Um, and obviously, more resources equals faster tech. And level two on the Demon Hunter... Claws and Slivers of Agility, so plus 9 attack, that's not bad for the Demon Hunter. Grubby will get level 2 from um, this creep here, and uh, ooh, that's quite nice. Two Claws and a Circlet and a um, Slivers of Agility, so already plus 17 damage on a Blade Master, which is just level 2. So that's um, going to be really strong. Uh, Remind has now paused it to put on Anti-Spike. Um, hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, in case you don't know that, just uh, oh, saving the game as well. In case you don't know that, just means that um, it's good to sort of um, make it a bit easier for Remind to play because um, spikes can be a bit of a problem, uh, especially when playing Korea to Netherlands. And Zotac, in case you don't know, is a um, weekly cut for 100 euros. Um, looks like they're about to start retrying it. I think Grubby has won more than anyone else. I think actually Netherlands has won more than any other country, and that's just because of Grubby. I think Grubby's won, I think it was 11 or 13. I was looking at the stats about a week ago. I can't remember now. It's on Gosu Gamers if you want to check it out. Um, Grubby running in four, f five um, archers. So it looks like Remind's going to be going for a um, tier two push, maybe with a Naga. Um, kills one of the archers. Uh, so that's very good. Oh, he could have got us around there, but he doesn't. Um, Remind could get a mana burn off now, but Grubby only has 22 mana, so it's really not worth it because it'll cost him more mana. <laughs> and uh, obviously that'll just all be wasted when he has to try and heal up on a Moonwell. And uh, Grubby now salving up. He dropped an item to um, pick up a salve, but I think he had to um, quickly sell the rest of his salve charges so that Remind wouldn't get come in. And there's the Naga for Remind. Um, Demon Hunter taking a l er, um, Blade Master taking a lot of damage. Demon Hunter was partially surrounded, but not completely. Grubby, you'll notice, put up a dust just as he was running away, so these archers are dusted, but one grunt does go down now. Tier 2 now out for Grubby, and Torn Chieftain now coming out for him as well. And no Tier 2 buildings yet, but uh, I imagine that's not of the most important. He sort of loot forgets one um, grunt there, and sorry, if, uh, Grubby's playing green, and I can't see the Blade Master on the mini map, but um, Remind now coming back in. Oh, Blade Master's right here, that's why I couldn't see it. Um, Spirit Lodge going up, and did Grubby buy an Invon pot or something? No, um, I don't know why he ran away, maybe it was just to buy some time for his salve to kick in. And Remind now putting up an Ancient of Wind, presumably. Yep, there's one, and there's the second one there. And Ancient of War being uprooted, I imagine he'll do the same thing as um, in Game 1, where he brought his Ancient of War right to Grubby's base. And I'm, I'm going to try not to call it this time, just because I've been wrong two times out of two. Um, Torrin Chieftain buying two salves, I think one was actually passed from the Deem from the Blade Master and a scroll of speed. And it looks like Grubby's gonna do some creeping with his Blade Master, which makes sense because he's lost a grunt. Um and uh but Demon Hunter and Naga coming back in again. This is such nice harassment from Remind. Obviously oh wow, look at that. Um Peon's getting a um block on the Demon Hunter so he can't get to the Spirit Lodge, which obviously is so easy to cancel because even at full hit points only is eight hundred and when building it takes extra damage from all the archers and a shockwave there from Grubby. He used the speed roll to get in quickly. Mana burn on the Torn Chieftain, but will Grubby get us around you? Yes he does. Oh wow. What a surround. And Remind probably will TP out of this, although he might have a no, he doesn't have a staff even. And so um Oh, he, he tries to pass the staff, but he, uh, Remind knew that it wouldn't get there in time. And, um, wow, probably got the staff. Oh, God, that's that's crazy. I I can't remember the last time I saw um someone try to pass an item by dropping it, and then uh, the, the opposing uh, guy getting it. That's going to be amazing for Grubby. Obviously, staffing out something like a Blade Master after taking a lot of damage is going to be just so good. And all the adventures I was saying that... um. Uh, Remind is going to have from staffing now if I did Grubby. And did R Remind even buy a staff? No, he didn't. Um, this is just crazy. I'm so glad I decided to commentate this game because uh, I imagine 
uh, Grubby can play other races as well. I've seen him play Elf a couple times, so he certainly is going to know how to use the staff. And um, still plus 17 damage on this Blade Master, and he goes in for the kill, but he doesn't get it. He doesn't get the item either, uh, which is a greater heal pot, which goes on the Demon Hunter. That's very nice, because uh, obviously the um, Focus Fire is so important for uh, Orc. Uh, Grubby does manage to get the Ancient of War, though, but that's not really a huge factor at this point. Um, just starting his Tier 3 um, dot training. Uh, sorry, I, I should add sort of who's doing this, but it should be obvious. Um, meanwhile, Grubby still level 1 on his Torrent Chieftain. Um, can he? I don't think he can even creep this. Um, uh, level two blade master Bree bought a um, speed scroll. Obviously, he's worried about harassment. For, for his um, his BCR is really late though, so he doesn't even have his first um, raider out. So I think this probably is still. Oh no, sorry, I said it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say who I thought was winning. Um, uh, the uh, another dot coming out and almost tier th almost um tier three upgrade on the dots. Um, no third hero, I imagine it'll be Tinker, although Beastmaster is partially viable, obviously it's good against um, a Blademaster. Uh, Scroll of Healing, Grubby drops that there and goes to pick it back up. Um, uh, Grubby just running about now, trying to find um, Remind of his Blademaster. Remind, um, looks like he's going in for another attack and Grubby does scout this, but um, an Archer I think was going for the uh, Tinker there. But in, uh, Remind realizes that he can't get it, and he realizes he's been scouted. So he gets a very very fire off on the Blade Master and runs back. Decides not to go for the harass, but it will mean that he can pick up his third hero. I'm betting Tinker. Yep, there it is. Um, and uh, Spirit Lodge building another uh, Spirit Walker, and Bestiary is now finished in snare. So he has one of each, one of each of a Spirit Walker and a Raider, and four grunts, three grunts, three grunts. Well, uh, with um. Berserker upgrade, and uh, there's his second um, raider there. Obviously, Grubby get, has to get ready for an attack. He knows it's coming, and um, brings out his peons. Nice placement of the pocket factory there, because um, it's going to produce a lot of uh, 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 goblins. But uh, Grubby does go for the cancel immediately. Um, Grubby does not have much to spell. Only one spirit walker, and he used spirit link, so he's not going to have. He only has 60 mana on it, so um, this cyclone's going to be so powerful against him. I think it's going to be really useful. Maybe he'll be able to staff this raider home. Um, we'll see if he does. Go on, Grubby. Um, oh, yeah, there it goes there. Um, and the uh, second raider does look like it will just get killed, though. A bit of a um, problem there, just not paying attention, I guess. And this one looks like it's going to go down as well. Yeah, it does. Meanwhile, um, just the heroes tanking for Remind. Obviously, um, that greater healing potion is going to be very... And uh, uh, Blade Master is now up in the air. Um, Remind uh, gets a mana burn just before cycloning it again and the blade master does have an invuln pot but uh i wonder if staff's still on cooldown staff's not on cooldown grubby just staffs back the blade master uh the imbonus of the staff is just being used against remind i've got reminds really hating himself for losing that staff now but grubby just has no army really um two raiders two spirit walkers this raider better make sure he doesn't get killed like the others yeah he didn't the grubby did lose two raiders just from running them into um reminds army uh he was careful not to do it again and uh clarity being used on the blade master as well as a salve um has enough for a wind walk now but just look at this huge army let's check um 49 versus 40 food and reminds army is tier three so i think um i i will say that i think remind has this he has a wisp here he might be trying to expand um uh, Grubby now coming in, he realizes he has to fight this. Uh, he lost a burrow, so he's at 40 out of 40. He can't build any more. Um, uh, this BCR looks like it will go down. Grubby really has to um, attack now or never. And uh, only level 2 turn Chieftain. I think if he had level 3, if he had used his time better to creep, maybe um, the Remind Shop or one of the um, Turtles or something, he might have gotten. He might have done a bit better. Tinker takes a lot of damage. But um, <laughs> staffing home that Raider. I just love seeing the Orc using a staff, even though... It, it is sort of fruitless. He buys a um, healing potion on his Torn Chieftain and does use it just in time, though. Um, Blade Master taking a lot of damage. Blade Master goes down. Um, and Grubby says GG. Okay, so that's game three. I'll see you in game four. Okay, folks, game four between Grubby and Remind. Remind is now 2 1 up. Um, oh, and Grubby. This is a Grubby chosen map, Melting Valley. Uh, 
A uh, very standard sort of starts from both of them at this point. Uh, reminds good of Ancient of War Creep by the looks of it, this camp here. It's a bit of a shame that you can't Ancient of War Creep anything better without really having to go for uh, this uh, Merc camp here, which is just so hard to Ancient of War Creep. Uh, and also just leads to you being um, harassed if you try it. And Altar now finishing uh, Blade Master for Grubby and Demon Hunter for Remind. And sorry if it's a bit sort of laggy, this is live, so um, hopefully it should be pretty much um, just as as a normal game from now on. I can't speed any bits up, but I think it should be okay from here on. And Grubby scouting and Remind doesn't appear to be. Maybe he's just so confident in Grubby's build order. But uh, obviously it is possible for an orc to go for an early shop and then harass, rather than um, a standard build and then creep this. One here, and I imagine Grubby's gonna put. Up, yep, Grubby always puts up his shop there. I was gonna say that. Believe me or don't believe me, it doesn't really matter. But I was gonna say Grubby always puts his shop right there for this map, or obviously here. Um, and you notice how remind Nation of Orcrete. He gets his arch 